Oh, what up, gang gang? Welcome back to another episode of Smack Talk. And we are here on episode 237 of Smack Talk to keep building towards the Royal Rumble. That is right, confirmed right here, right now, ladies and gentlemen. Another entrant, the second entrant in the Royal Rumble will be announced. We had Darcy the Magnificent announce himself as the first entrant last week. Tonight, we will have another. But first, after an incredibly short intro for the likes of me, we will pivot to the tag team division because last week, a tag team of, of well, oldness, but also it's pretty new still. Paul and Franco, a team that formed just this year in the culture, might be reforming yet again. Paul showed up in Detroit, Franco's hometown, to have a conversation with Franco, have a meeting, and hopefully redesign, rebuild, and reclaim the tag team of Paul and Franco. I think that's just their name. They don't have a, a special name. And challenge for Lou and El Taquito, two fellow members of the culture's tag team titles. And, well, tonight, we have the aftermath of that meeting. Tonight, we have Franco's opinion on the meeting, on Paul showing up in Detroit, on all of that, and on the future of their tag team. So, without any further ado, go ahead and lay it on him, Franco. Hello, citizens of the KKPL universe. It's your boy. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. My grand acceptance or declination of Paul's offer to reform the great tag team known as Franco and Paul of the culture. So, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Here's my answer. Paul. You came out into my hometown right here. Detroit Pistons represent Detroit basketball. And uh, we had a hash out. So uh, obviously I appreciate, you know, your fucking outgoing attitude there. Coming all the way up there. From there, Texas. That's like, what, three days? You drove three days? Or you got a ticket from the plane. So here's what's going to happen here. Of course I'm gonna accept that shit, Paul. We are the greatest tag team in modern history of the KKPL. We don't wanna think about that retro KKPL, that shit's in the past now. We are the modern Maharajas. Uh, it's not licensed, so you know. But, but yeah, so of course we're gonna challenge for those belts because we're the best. Who could beat us? I ask you, the champions, what do you say to our challenge for the now greatest reform tag team in the history? That is right, ladies and gentlemen. The tag team of Paul and Franco, after a few months of hiatus, has yet again formed up. Paul took the initiative, and Franco liked that. And after Franco's... Um, betrayal, so to say, of the culture. It seems things are getting back on track. But, that does not mean necessarily that Lou and El Taquito will be facing Paul and Franco. Of course, Lou has something over the business man that he holds, some kind of deal they made. We don't know if that uh, has to deal with the tag team division or not. But what we do know is, Lou and El Taquito must accept the challenge of Paul and Franco before I can make this match official. So Lou, El Taquito, either one of you, both of you, next week on Smack Talk, give us an answer. Now, for that Royal Rumble entrant, yes? Because, ladies and gentlemen, your second entrant in the Royal Rumble is announcing their entrancy. Is that a word? I don't think so. Right now. Since my partner's in the big title match, I guess I'll join the Royal Rumble. Goodness gracious, a golden god is entering the Royal Rumble. That's right, Joe, he likes to go a little bit long. I understand that you may have got a little bit bored by how long that promo was. Joe is entering 
the 2023 Royal Rumble. And because I am already in a huge title match. Maybe. We'll see very soon, won't we? Because this week we have Zach's reaction to Bidith Man changing the stipulations up, accepting the triple threat as long as he can win the Can Cup if he does so win the triple threat match. This week, we see what Zach's reaction is to that. I, of course, am indifferent. I said I'm cool with that. If Zach is, then we can go ahead and make it official. And let me tell you right now, the wild card is cool with just about anything. So it might it might just be official, but let's go ahead and hear what Zach has to say on this match right now and where Zach is. So I was just, you know, listening to last week's Smack Talk and uh, with what Bidniff Man said, I thought, you know, what's the best way to prepare myself for this amazing triple threat for the Kang Cup? All oh, it's for all the fucking gubbins, bro. What better than to immerse myself in the Bidniff Man's world? I am in the heart of Bidniff City right now. You. This is one of the most bustling, vib vibrant cities I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I don't know if you can hear the sarcasm through my voice, but uh, it's because I'm quite sick right now. Uh, uh, if you, I am wearing a mask, don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, but yeah, so fucking gonna accept this match against Kang. No, fuck Kang, it doesn't even really matter. It's about me and the Bidneth Man. It's what it's always been about. I know it doesn't really matter if Bidneth Man got eliminated early in the tournament by me, and then Kang tied with me, which means he did better than Bidneth Man, but uh, fuck, that doesn't even matter. Who even cares about that guy? Fuck that guy. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna keep walking the streets. Maybe I'll bump into Paul Bram, maybe I won't. Who knows? And uh, I'll see you at the Rumble. Mr. Bindiff. Oh yeah, and, and Kang. And Kang too, of course. Now where? Where can I find some Bindiff? Ah! Oh my goodness, Zach just got shot. He... He might be dead. Um... That's what you get for trying to find Bidneth in a place where you don't belong, I guess. Um, <laughs> well, hopefully he'll be back for the Royal Rumble, uh, or in the upcoming weeks before it, we'll find out more information about him, but he just got shot. Um, but, there you have it, the match is officially official. Triple threat, main event of Royal Rumble, the Bidneth Man, Zack, and Kang vying for the KKPL Predictions Championship and for the Kang Cup Trophy all in one. And Zach has his eyes set on the Bidneth Man. Bidneth Man, vice versa. I am in the waiting in the wings. I'm like the Batman. You're all focused on them. When I'm a two-time predictions champion. The greatest tag team competitor of all time. I have just as good a chance at winning this match as either of them. I've beat the Bennett Man countless times. Never lost to Zack. He never lost to me either, but I ain't never lost to him. And we'll see what happens comes Royal Rumble. We'll see what happens. But I, I'm just gonna sit back and watch because Ladies and gentlemen, everything right now for me is what we call gravy. It's what Joe calls sauce, but we call gravy. Because I'm already the greatest tag team competitor of all time. I win, those, I win that predictions championship. I'm going to come for those tag team titles too. Lou, I know exactly, exactly what you want. I win that predictions title. I can dangle this like a pair of keys in front of a baby. And I don't even know what a pair of keys is. Just two keys. That's weird, right? 
You figure it'd be like a little bit more than a pair, probably like a couple of pairs or three pairs of, of keys, a key ring. But no, just two keys that I'll dangle in front of you. The Predictions Championship and the opportunity to win it. Then we'll see what he does then. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of Zach. I'm getting ahead of the businessman. I am getting ahead of the game. I am Paul in disguise right now. And if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. And me saying you know what I mean is also a very Paul thing to do. So you definitely know what I mean. You know what I mean. Now, that's it for this week's episode of Smack Talk. That was my uh, a little promo there. I don't know what that was. Next week, we'll have more um, entrance or another entrance in the Royal Rumble, along with the tag team response. And, of course, something in that predictions title match, along with much more. Ooh. But that's it. Short smack talk. Uh, although Joe's promo does carry the majority of it, how long it is. Jeez. Uh, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and turning on notifications so you're notified and all that good stuff that I want you to do. But for now, this is Masturbating Kangaroo, signing out. T-H-A-N-K-Y-O-U Thank you, thank you, T-H-A-N-K-Y-O-U